help us is a snake expert. It's Steve Lungeon, um, also known as the New Jersey Snake Man. <laughs> now, is that a moniker you might have put in a post-it on your mirror when you were younger? Totally, yeah, absolutely. I've been into it since I was four, so definitely. Oh, so you found your path. I, yeah, I there, there were some curves along the way, but yeah, for sure. There always is. Uh, for sure. Um, well, I'm excited for you um, to teach us about different snakes. I'd like to learn about them and their personalities. Um, so first, we're going to get into this little cute snake. What is its name? So his name is Carrot Cake, and uh, this is a corn snake. And oh, Craig go. is going to get down with the corn <laughs> thing. There you go. I like, he liked the dating profile. <laughs> is there anything we need to know about this snake? Likes, dislikes, habits? Uh, so they like to eat rodents. They live in uh, pine forests for the most part. How big do they get? Uh, so that's, a, that's an adult male. They get to be about three feet as males. The females are actually bigger than the males. Um, so they can top out around five. The females five. are bigger than the males, oh, huh? they are, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger, stronger. All right, give me one thing that would surprise us about this snake, one detail. Uh, it's actually the most popular pet snake in the world. Oh, wow. That's a good detail. Yeah. Now, Craig, will you give us a detail about killing it, one per snake? Uh, yes, yes, I, uh, I, I, I'm a python hunter and killing it. Sorry, kid. <laughs> And like, if you... I, I do it to, to, to raise money because I'm about that American dream. I love it. Okay, um, next we have a boa constrictor named Big Wig. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is that the one you feel that I might be a match with? Well, I mean, uh, he is an outdoorsy guy. Um, yeah, if, uh, give me his dating profile. For sure. Uh, if he had arms, he would be into kayaking for sure, but mostly... I love fun. kayaking! It's perfect. It's a match made in heaven. May I? Absolutely. Is that... Okay. Your hands are on your shoulders. Um, there we go. All right. Maybe I could Brittany this up? Oh, for sure. <laughs> um, ooh, ooh. I'm in. Um, tell me a detail about my future Ooh. boyfriend. He, he's a really cheap date. Uh, he, would only, he, he would only eat probably four to six times a year. And, and is it like a, like a, a muskrat? Does he eat something really large when he yeah. eats? <laughs> uh, basically, the, in, in the wild, they'll eat the biggest thing that'll fit in their mouth. So it's kind of like Thanksgiving. Every time. Yeah. Loosen their belt. Head back and go to sleep. Now, Craig, will you tell us another detail about maybe your relationships with snakes on the show? You seem very <laughs> comfortable. Were you always comfortable with snakes, or were... no? I was. You know what? I was in Australia in uh, about 2016 with my band, and that's where I got over my fear of snakes because I was about to take a picture with my band member had a snake, and I was going to act like I was scared to get close, and then I accidentally I, I touched the snake. And it was, it felt so amazing. And I'm letting them put it all around my neck. And, and I was like, this snake means you no harm. You've been lied to by the Bible and Indiana Jones. <laughs> so. Um, all right, let's bring out our third snake. Um, this is gonna give you some Britney vibes. She made this one famous at the VMAs. It's a python. Yowza. Wow. These guys are from uh, Southeast Asia and Myanmar. Um, used to be Burma. Uh, so they like it real warm. Um, and, they, and they tend to spend a lot of time in sort of swampy areas. Oh, I mean, he is really gorgeous. And I was just telling everybody at the commercial break how much yellow is the color of our mm. show because it's such an optimistic color. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, I'll take him. Oh. I feel like I just swiped left on one and right on another. That's okay. They're both outdoorsy. I, I feel like a two-timer. Whoa! I don't know how to describe this sensation. Craig, yeah. can you describe the sensation of manhandling a very large snake? It's like a... I mean, because this is, 
boy is this different even than the boa? It's like being tickled by a hot dog. Well, would you like a giant kielbasa that could possibly, like, strangle you? Sure. Wanna, can we trade? Yeah, is that sure. possible? Yeah, let's make and it happen. Let, oh, whoa. I, I just, wanna, I just want everyone to note the leg. Just want everyone to note the rapid. I, I really, there is, like, the sense that this could kill me no, so I... quickly. <laughs> So Where you fast. Going, buddy? Where you going? But like it's exciting because I'm trusting so much that it won't, but there is no question that it could. Okay. Oh sure, absolutely. <laughs> um you guys, uh one last detail, um, Craig. What is the latest post-it that you would put on your mirror or affirmation for yourself right now? I would say uh it's yours. Well, Craig um, and Steve, thank you so much for what has been such a beautiful, fun, awesome, dope segment. This is my kind of jam, really and truly. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And Killing It premieres today on Peacock. Get it while it's hot. It is so much fun. Craig Robinson, I have loved you for so long. Love you um, too. May we just live in a world with more Craig Robinson? <laughs> and then it can be out.